Hello, Teachasaurs! My name is Teacher Erica. I'm the founder of Teachasaur.com. So today I just wanted to show a few tricks that I do when using a whiteboard in class. So let's get started. So I usually use two whiteboards when teaching in class at the same time. So, you know, you can just use one. Uh, but I like to use both of them for different reasons, so I'll show you how I make use of them. So for the small one, I like to do this as more of an extension of myself. So let's say that you're teaching a word, listen. So I got this from my little sister, actually. She also teaches online. And what she did is she actually drew a huge ear, just like so. And you can, even if you don't really draw that well, that's fine. Actually, if it's if it's kind of a caricature or uh, not accurate, um, it's totally fine. The kids love it anyway. So what you do, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but sure. Uh, so you can say, listen, and then you put it right where your ear is supposed to be. <gasps> listen. Listen. So something like that. And... To further emphasize the word, you can even write it on the bottom like that and say, listen, listen, just like so. Um, another thing that I like to do, you know, just playing on that idea of having the whiteboard extend to yourself, is, uh, extend from yourself, is I like to kind of use it as a prop uh, that interacts with me. So the other day I was teaching about a bottle. So then I can create a bottle right here. So kind of like, let's, let's say like a Coca-Cola bottle, right? An hourglass, like that. Okay, just like so. And then maybe I'll put like a little bit of liquid in there. And then I'm going to say, oh, actually, I'm just going to erase the bottom here. There you go. And then I'm going to say, oh, bottle. And then I can spell at the bottom, oh, bottle. Can you say bottle? And then what I like to do is I kind of pretend to drink it. Ah, bottle. Oh, very good. And then they laugh really hard because, you know, it's kind of funny that I'm drinking out of a whiteboard. So it's something interactive that you can do. It's really fun. And also, uh, one other thing, because I teach with uh, magic ears, um, at the end of it, there's usually a crown uh, reward. So what I like to do is I just kind of draw a little crown. And I do this really quickly, so if I have something that's already on here and then it's reward time, I just erase it really quickly and then draw. And I say, oh, it's time for your crown! So something like that, you know, very interactive and kind of an extension of yourself. Um, also, this white, a small whiteboard, I just got it from Dollar Store, as well as the big one. Both are from Dollar Store. Um, but if there's no Dollar Store near you, you can also grab a whiteboard from the website teachasore.com. There's different uh, uh, sizes in there and different kinds of whiteboards. Uh, so that's for the small one, okay? Now, for the big one, I like to use this, you know, for the same purpose as the other one, but the smaller one, I think, is a little bit easier to kind of interact with yourself. The big one, not so much. It's quite big, but you can still do it. So, um, like, for example, when I was teaching about the bottle, I drew a really big bottle in here like this, like that, and I was drinking from here. And they were laughing so hard on that one because it's kind of ridiculous, the size of the bottle that I was drinking. So anyways, you can use it that way. But uh, one a really good example of t using the whiteboard is um, kind of sh teaching phrases. So uh, I like to uh, play with the words and play with the phrases to make, to make it easier to understand. So for example, uh, the other day I taught the, the phrase in the middle of. So that's a little tricky to teach, but, you know, in the way you utilize the whiteboard, you can kind of show uh, what that means. So let me give you an example. So in the middle of, I write it this way. 
instead of just writing it, you know, in the middle of, you can kind of play on how you write it on the board. So I did in the middle of. There you go. So the actual words are in the middle of the board. So they can kind of see if they're visual learners that the, this phrase in the middle of literally is in the middle of the whiteboard. So uh, I find it helpful. They, they seem to get it this way. Um, and so every time uh, I need to bring up in the middle of, I just show this and as soon as they see that visual cue, they say in the middle of without even having to read the words. So I think it's very uh, clever use of the, white, the big whiteboard. All right, and also I wanted to bring up this eraser. So this is a magnetic eraser that just sticks to the whiteboard. I think it's wonderful. It's also from a dollar store, but again, if there's no dollar store near you, you can get one of these at teachersore.com. I have, uh, I think it's a pack of four, and then it just magnetizes on the whiteboard. This way you don't need to have like Kleenex with you or tissue. All you need to do is just leave it on the board and you know, you won't have to keep looking for it. And I love the fact that it sticks on there. So anyways, um, another nice use of this uh, big whiteboard is um, I like to kind of emphasize on uh, the adjective. So let's say, um, tall you know you're teaching the word tall what i like to do is I, I flip the whiteboard this way right and it just to emphasize the word tall you can kind of uh uh make a, make it more impactful if you draw it from the bottom so you can be like tall tree <gasps> tall whoa 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 Tall, wow, tall, wow, like that. And then you can even write in the bottom, tall, tall, just like so. So kind of just emphasizing the word uh, by how you're writing it too, okay? Now, another thing that I like to uh, recommend is drawing a picture right in front of the student. They love that. So let's say you're trying to teach about a snowman. And instead of just write, drawing the snowman properly, there's a fun way of doing it where, you know, you make the students laugh. It becomes a very meaningful uh, class for them. Uh, and that is to kind of draw it and do it purposely wrong so that they can correct you. So when, you know, like when I was teaching the snowman, I would say, hmm, is this right? And they would say, yes. Hmm, is this right? And they will say, no. And then they will laugh. And I was like, okay, okay. And then I'll erase it. And then let's try it again, right? So I'm going to pretend that I'm getting it right. Is this right? What about this one? Yes. <gasps> what about this one? And so it's right so far. And then I can make a mistake like, oh, is that right? No. And they would find it so hilarious that I would, I would put the arm there. So I can just erase the arm. And then I could just keep going until the kids get it right. So just like so. There you go. So anyways. Um, that's one way to just have a little bit more fun with the whiteboard is just purposely draw things wrong and Draw it in front of them So I find that it's more fun if you actually draw if they watch the process in front of them rather than having it pre-drawn and then showing it to them so Anyways, that's it for the whiteboard tutorial. I think that's uh, fun ways. Those are some just those are just some fun ways that I like to use the whiteboard. If you have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to try them out and maybe we'll make another part two whiteboard video. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. I hope these were useful and happy teaching everybody.